Hey guys, Super Bowl Sunday. Beautiful day outside. Uh, be a beautiful day to be on the water. Uh, John and I went to uh, Pinkston yesterday morning. See what the bass were doing. I personally haven't been on Pinkston in several years. Uh, water temps were 51 to, well, I believe the lowest we saw was 49 to about 53. Uh, water was very clear as usual on Pinkston. Uh, hydrilla out to about 15 foot in most places, very thick, very green. Uh, we only caught two fish, one on the A-Rig and one on the Red Trap. Didn't be kind of random, honestly. Uh, we did see a few beds up shallow that looked like they had maybe started and then stopped, got interrupted by this cold weather. Uh, did not see any males roaming or anything. Um, looks like uh, if we get a couple weeks of warm weather, it may be time to go to Pinks and do a little sight fishing, bed fishing. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do that this year and get you guys some good footage. Uh, Good. I know. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> Not having much luck yesterday morning, we decided to run back down to Huxley there on Toledo, see if we could locate the crappie again. Uh, definitely got on the river, definitely saw that the crappie were uh, trying to stack back up on the vertical timber. Um, first couple spots we pulled up on was pretty quick, boom, boom, catch a few. So we decided to, uh, it was getting a little crowded out there. So we went up into uh, one of the creeks there to see if the crappie were starting to move back a little bit. We'd heard from uh, a few guys that they were trying to. Definitely got into the creek and started to see some fish uh, piling up on timber and uh, vertical stuff as well in the creek. Um, we caught a few of them. Uh, looked like the further we got back in the creek, the less fish we saw on the graph. So um, still catching them on this uh, Kevin Kirby chasing the thump. I guess we're calling it the fat boy gold, fat boy color there. Uh, Kirby can help hook you up definitely and all of his other colors there. So. Um, Hey guys, uh, we've been off uh, asked several times uh, which rods we're using. Um, both John and I have a uh, B and M tree thumper. Um, uh, I believe both of them are ten footers. Uh, they perform very well. I really like the rear seat over the extended handle. Uh, my other one is a uh, 
Sam's super sensitive, uh, also by B&M. Um, we are in no longer, uh, we are in no way affiliated with B&M. It just happens to be the rods that we have, and we really like them. Uh, I believe John also has an Ozark, which he really likes a lot. I have not used it personally, but uh, both of them are 10-footers. Uh, we are both using the, uh, the K9 pink braid and also the uh, high-vis yellow. So, guys, this K9 line is some of the best I've ever seen. Um, it holds up unbelievably well. If you guys have any other questions, holler at us. Like the fishing overall this weekend and last weekend, the uh, between the FLW tournament on Rayburn and Outlaw tournament this weekend, the uh, weights have been you know kind of down. Uh, looks like the shallow bite is picking up on Rayburn. A lot of guys flipping and cypress trees and things like that. Uh, the Toyota series, I believe it was on Toledo this weekend, the weights were down there too. I did see uh, Stephen Johnston caught a uh, 10 pounder, so that always helps, but um, just. A lot of things up in the air looks like we're going to get some possible snow this week so that'll help things a lot <laughs> but uh hopefully get a little warm weather coming up and fish will get better and turn on so uh as always guys thanks for watching and go subscribe and if you guys have any questions or any comments or anything you'd like to see give us a shout let us know uh, be more than happy to see what we can do for you uh, thanks again